Welcome to the channel. Uh, so this game's been out for a little bit. Um, it's called The Ancestors, The Humankind and Odyssey. Um, big fan of this game so far. Full disclosure, I have played a little bit of it, but that's only to be able to um, bring you guys the footage without me fumbling around with all the uh, different keys and kind of understand the basic concepts of the game. So we'll be starting a little bit into the series. Um, it's not too far in. Uh, it's probably about five hours, but this game I've heard is about 50 hours in length. So without any further ado, we'll just go ahead and jump right into the, to the gameplay. So as you guys can see, we're not in the starting area right here. But uh, one of the main reasons I love this game is uh, because most games nowadays are just, I just feel like they're very, very easy. So this game has a little bit of a challenge. Um, you actually have to think about what you're doing and you have to uh, really adjust to that. It's not, um, it's not given to you, everything isn't given to you, nothing really in this game uh, tells you what to do other than just giving you a few clues and, and the challenge I think I heard from the developers is uh, that you have to use your human brain to see if you can uh, outsmart the, uh, the apes on the, on the screen. <laughs> so um, as you see here, um, this is my uh, clan. We moved, uh, like I said again, from the starting area. Not too big, got about 10 clan members in here and uh, um, Ooh, so what you just saw there was a uh, saber-toothed tiger, and uh, luckily I was able to dodge it. It's not that easy to dodge, um, but hopefully I can uh, get him to leave us alone. Alright, there we go. So I need to grab some kind of a weapon. So here is my trusty pointed stick and rock. So now I gotta see if I can protect my clan. So cool. Everybody uh, seemed to uh, intimidate him, uh, and so we, we fended him off. So let me grab my other tool here. I'm gonna switch my hands. Grab. Okay, cool. So the primary goal today is just kind of explore and uh, go along the way. Oh, I almost forgot. I do need to grab one of the younger apes here, the, one of the kids, and, and put them on my back. What that does is it helps you get um, some extra experience points. Go ahead and grab a, another one. So that's kind of cool. Isn't that cool? You got a little two ape. A little two apes on you. It's kind of like you're wearing a backpack and, a, and almost like a rucksack in the front for any of the military fans. <laughs> So, good thing it stopped raining, kind of turned it a little bit more into a beautiful day. Go up here and, uh, oh yeah, let's try, let's try shaking the tree and see what happens. So, as expected, uh, we, got, we got some coconuts. We got some coconuts. So, you drop what's in your right hand, so I definitely don't in your right hand, so I definitely don't want to drop, well I actually do want to drop the stick right now. I want to pick up this coconut and switch hands I believe, and now I have the option to alter it, so kind of have to listen to the audio cues, but you guys can see what I'm doing here. I am attempting to crack open this coconut and get all the juicy goodness inside of it. And there we go, we got it. So. Remember to switch your hands again, and now we can drink some of the coconut juice. Awesome, so what this does is it gives you a little bit of a buff if you are sick, and there you see I got some experience points, some adap adaptable metabolism. Go ahead and grab my stick again, and um, start going out here a little bit more. So before I started this, um, there were some uh, points that I did put into the evolutionary tree. That's kind of like your skill up in this game. And what that does is it basically strengthens the neurons in your ape brain um, to be able to perform more advanced actions later on. So um, you guys saw the little pop-ups on the, on the right saying, you know, hey, you strengthen your neurons, blah, blah, blah. So what you do is later on, um, 
you can kind of build uh, like little beds made out of leaves and uh, then you can uh, you can lay down on them once you lay down it gives you an option to kind of place your experience points where you want and uh, that that's that's how you get extra skill points so all right let me focus on, on what I'm doing here so uh, I'm playing on PC obviously without a controller I'm playing on keyboard and um, and with a mouse so pushing E what that does is it gives you all these little block options so what I'm doing is using my intelligence to kind of see what is around me in the world see where I need to go so these little um, square blocks these are all the little interactable um, objects within the world um, but these like diamond shaped ones these are like your your points of interest that you want to go to so see it gives me the option to memorize there let go and I can uh, remember it so we'll, we'll go ahead and head on that towards that direction and I somehow missed seeing that and stumbled onto what looks to be a leopard saber tooth tiger thingy so see if I can't get rid of him and you can kind of sense him right there by sniffing him okay it's a bad guy we already knew that we saw him Surprise! he really didn't attack me right there honestly okay so what this is right here this is a fear zone what this basically means is that you um, are afraid of your surroundings so in order to be able to identify what's around you um, all you have to do is just the same kind of senses you did early pushing E to identify what's around you and, and what that does is it kind of makes you a little bit more um, secure with your surroundings so that you're not just scared to death of it and uh, you see on the bottom left I'm kind of refreshing my uh, what they call in this game a dopamine bar and so basic name of the game is uh, wait till that little circle in the bottom is um, full and these are things I hadn't seen before so that's why I do it now. Oh crap a hippo dodge please run 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 Ooh, so I thought I was gonna get destroyed there okay so as you notice also I dropped my weapons because I was too afraid so I'm headed into the street so I don't die okay see that is I failed a little quick time event Past that one. Now I'm going to the street. And I got out of the fear zone. We need to kind of take care of this thing before we do anything else. You can see I'm a little bit hurt. Until we can take care of ourselves. Okay, now this guy wants to play. Cool. So living in the jungle, prehistoric human is not necessarily the best of times. You got to dodge pretty much everything around you. All right. So I think I made it to a place where it's it's kind of a little bit more safe now. Oh, cool a parrot. So if I'm up here, you can intimidate. You can try to intimidate. If you have your clan members with you, it's typically a little bit more successful. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so I have actually made a mistake and gone into what's called a panic zone. So I basically don't have much control. Okay, I'm back to normal now, thankfully. So a little bit dangerous area to be uh, taking up a residence in. Awesome. But I'm headed back on our little failed adventure and uh, gonna call it a uh, night in game, sleep it off and uh, hopefully start again tomorrow. Actually, this is not our <laughs> our little area, so that's not good. Go ahead and grab the stick here, switch hands, and alter it for a bit. There we go.
All right, guys. So I think we'll uh, stop this uh, episode right here, but um, we will uh, pick up in the next episode and see what happens.